Good morning, kids. Miss Peggy here. Are you ready for story time? I have Jesus here with us. He's ready to hear a story. Do you remember what our story was about last week? Do you remember the story about how Jesus was in the desert, out in the wilderness, and he didn't have any food or any water for like 40 days, and he was really thirsty and really hungry, and the devil came and tempted him, didn't he? He tried to get him to do things that, that Jesus knew that God wouldn't want him to do. God wanted him to live by the rules in the Bible, right? That got by his rules. And each time the devil tempted Jesus, he told him no. And he told him what God wanted for him to do. And so he got through that. And he, God was really proud of him when he got through that, wasn't he? That was had to be a hard time to, to, to be tempted and to know that if you did this, it would be so much easier on you. You could turn rocks into bread and you'd have something to eat and your tummy wouldn't rumble so much. But... Jesus listened to God's word, right? And he did what he knew he, he was supposed to do. So after that, Jesus began to travel around and talk to people all over about God. One of the places Jesus went was to Nazareth. He went to a synagogue there and he was talking to the people. And he told the people, I was sent to tell you that God loves you and poor people and sick people and people in prison. Now think about that. Jesus was telling these people that he didn't, God didn't just love the people who were dressed nice and the people who were pretty or handsome or the people who could sing good or the people who could play sports good. He loved all the people, even the people who had done maybe something wrong and were in jail, maybe people who were sick who had diseases that were contagious that somebody else might get if they, if they went near them. God loved all the people, and that was Jesus' message to these people. But the people didn't believe Jesus. They said to Jesus, Why are you talking about sick people and poor people and people in prison? Everyone knows that God doesn't care anything about them. But Jesus said, I'm here to show you that God's way is love, and it's love for all people, not just some people. Well, people began to grumble and their grumbling grew to shouting and their shouting grew to shoving and their shoving grew to them chasing Jesus right out of there. They said, go away, Jesus, get away from here. We don't want to hear this. And Jesus did. He went on. But did that stop Jesus from talking to other people about God? No, it absolutely did not. Jesus knew that God wanted everyone to know that he loves them. Look how angry the people are. Jesus looks like his feelings are hurt a little bit, doesn't he? I'm sure it hurt his feelings a little bit, but guess what? Not so much that he gave up. He just kept on going, didn't he? Jesus was in the synagogue one day. He picked up a scroll and began to read out loud. Just then, a sick man sitting near Jesus began to shake. The man shouted at Jesus, Shh! Quiet, silence, the crowd said to the man. The people did not care about the man, but Jesus did. Jesus stopped his teaching. He wanted the man to be well. Be still, he said to the man. Be well, he said to the man. And the man stopped shaking and started to feel better. What is this, the people said in amazement. Jesus even cures the sick. So, because of this event, news of Jesus and all that he could do began to spread around the people. So after Jesus healed the first person, everybody kind of started to hear about it, right? Jesus enjoyed teaching and healing. People everywhere heard that Jesus was a healer. They brought their sick family and friends to Jesus so he could heal them. When Jesus was near sick people, he could have gotten sick too, but Jesus didn't worry about that and he didn't get sick. Instead, Jesus healed the people. He went out of his way to help. Early one morning, Jesus went to his friend Simon Peter's house. Simon Peter was very upset. Jesus, my wife's mother has a terrible fever. I know you have healed people in many places. Would you please heal her too? What do you think Jesus did? Jesus could feel how sad his friend was, and he knelt down next to the woman and held her hand, and he healed her. 
Jesus and his friends kept going from town to town, healing others and teaching people about God's love. Wow. If you could bring somebody to Jesus to be healed, who would you bring? Do you know someone who is not feeling well or is very sad or needs help in some way? I wonder who you would heal, who you would bring to Jesus to heal. Look, there he is, healing the sick lady. Look how happy she is, and look how happy her friends are, and her son-in-law. Isn't that wonderful? So Jesus can heal us all, right? All we have to do is ask. All right, you all have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Take care.